Hello everyone, my name is Bao Pham. Today I'll show you how to write a Python program for message authentication using OpenSSL. I have the TOC of this video on the screen. You can skip to the part that you like. Before getting into the fun parts, I would like to do some review about asymmetric encryption, aka public key encryption, and how it helps to achieve authentication and entirety. I used an example about Alice sending messages to Bob along the video to visualize the theory. What is asymmetric encryption? It is an encryption method that requires a set of two keys. One is the public key that can be revealed to anyone. The other one is a secret key that only the owner has the access to. In our case, Alice will share her public key to everyone in the network while keeping the secret key for her own. In asymmetric encryption, once the message is encrypted with one key, it can only be decrypted with the other one. This means if the message is encrypted with Alice's private key, everyone can decrypt and read the message using her public key. However, if the message is encrypted with her public key, then only Alice can be able to decrypt and read the message with her private key. Using this characteristic of asymmetric encryption, Bob can make sure Alice is the sender if the message he received can be decrypted by Alice publicly. In this model, before sending the message to Bob, Alice will fit it into a specific hash function. And as we all know from my last video, hash function produces digest, which is fixed in length. This digest is then encrypted with Alice's private key to make the message authentication code or MAC. Notice that this code will have the same length despite the length of the original message. Finally, the message and MAC will be sent over the network to Bob. Here, MAC plays the role of Alice's signature. At Bob's side, he will have to divide the message into two parts. The first part is the message which will be fit into the same exact hash function Alice used to create the digest number one. The second part in Mac will be decrypted using Alice's public key to reveal the digest number two. These two pieces of digest will be compared. If matched, the message is not entered and the sender is Alice. Otherwise, an exception will raise the alert. Okay. Now we need to make sure OpenSSL is installed in your computer. I assume that you have already installed Python 3, Jupyter Notebook, and Beef on your computer. Otherwise, I would recommend you to watch my previous video before continue on this one. Let's open Terminal and tap Beef 3 install hi OpenSSL. This Pocket Manager should install OpenSSL library to your computer. Now we can get into the fun part. First, we need to import the library. We need the Crypto module from the OpenSSL library for the encryption. We also need basis default for converting encrypted message into readable form. Now we need to declare global variable. So we're using the RSA as an encryption method. The key size that I'm using here is 3072. This is recommended for RSA. Since it is set on 2030, any key size below. 3072 is considered unsaved. Now I'm writing the function to generate a key set for the uh, RSA encryption. I'm going to call it get key set. We need to declare the data type for the private key 
Ion Coil Key and the public key insert the data type for the private key is a PK and for the public key is a X509 now we can call the generate key function from the crypto uh, to generate the uh, private key we're gonna take the key itself as a parameters RSA and the key size now we have the private key we can use that private key to set the public key after that we can return our key set which is keys as a private key and search as a private key Now I need to write a function to generate the MAC code and combine that MAC code with the original message into one so we can send the whole thing to the, the, the receiver. I'm gonna call the function sender. And this function take the message and the private keys as the parameter. We can generate a MAC code by using one line function of the crypto, which is side. And this take the key and the message. And seeing our message is in string, we need to convert into byte string by using the encode and then we also need to declare the hashing function which I'm using SSA 556 I'm going to print out the length of the mic code then I'm making the outbound message which is the original message plus the MAC code then I'm, I'm returning this outbound okay let's test our code that we have so far so first we need to generate a set of key the private key and the public key by calling the get set function the message gonna be let's see hello crypto now we creating the outbound message by calling the sender function Check the message and the private key. And we're going to print out the outbound message to see what inside it. Okay, let's run the code. Here you can see 384 is the size of the MAC code. This is going to be exactly the same every single time. It is uh, doesn't matter how long the message is, the mac the size of the macros is always 384. And here look at the outbound messages. We can see the two part. One is our message itself, hello crypto, and after that is the um mac code. And seeing our outbound in, is in the uh, binary string, so that's why we have to be right here before the message. Okay.
Okay, so it works. So now I'm going to create a function for the receiver to verify the authentication of the inbound message. Also, the function needs to be able to extract the original message. Okay, I'm going to call this function receiver. We check the inbound and the property. First, I need to define the size of the map code, which is 384. And now we can extract the first part of the inbound message. And the map code is going to be the second part of the inbound message. Now we have the message, the map code, the public key. We can be able to verify by using crypto verify this check the public key my code the message message and the it's the same hack function which is SSA256 if the ver verification is successfully we can return a message if there any error bring out the um, error message and return nothing now let's test the code again so I'm gonna have the message one equal receiver outbound shirt no uh public key and I'm I'm gonna bring out the message to see if it's match Okay, let's run the code. The inbound equal outbound plus empty in code. So we're gonna modify the receive message and then we're gonna fit it into the receiver function to see if it's able to detect this is unauthentic. can see this unauthentic. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, see you next time.